Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. I just wanted to give a quick update on my DIY auto duck feeder or chicken feeder, which this trash can here I picked up for $3 uh, from somebody down the road. And we're gonna change that into our DIY chicken feeder for our Rhode Island Reds. One update I wanted to do uh, for this video was to explain this connection because it may have been confusing with my last video. I believe I commented and said this was a four inch street elbow. Uh, I wanted to clarify some things because it might be confusing. This at the store is actually considered a three inch, 90 degree street elbow. And I believe the three inch signifies the inside diameter. Now the outside diameter is four inches on the large end. And the small end should be three and a half. And then the street elbow has this natural lip right here, which is perfect for when you make the connection. Again, if you have seen the other video, I cut off this large end with a jigsaw flush, and that's the end that'll be inside the garbage can. Now this small end with the natural lip will go on the inside and come out, and this four inch piece that you just cut off will fit over the three and a half nice and snug. And because of this lip, there's almost no water issues. Every once in a while, we can have a little bit of water in there, but something to eliminate that too is you put just a bead of silicone around here as you're making that connection. But I wanted to give you that important update. You can check out my, I think it was the second or third video I ever made on the channel, but uh, I'll just do a time lapse of creating this garbage can auto feeder as well. And I hope you enjoy, and if you have any questions, please leave them below. God bless. All right, just a quick update before I do the time lapse. This edge, <clears throat> this end that I'm cutting off, all I did was hold it upright, start it, just to get a hole in there. And then what I'll do is go back with the jigsaw and work my way around the whole thing. to show you one more time <clears throat> clearly hopefully <laughs> this 90 degree street elbow three inch inside diameter outside diameter is four inch cut it clean off and I cut out a little shape here to where when the chickens go in to eat or the ducks there is a fly on the camera so I'm wondering if that shows up <laughs> but that they have a little bit more room in here but this has a natural lip built in here, which is very nice. At the, I believe it's about a four inch lip, three and a half here. Three and a half goes inside facing down. It should be snug if you've got a good hole saw that's three and a half inches. And then this just, I'm not gonna put it tight cause I'm not ready for it yet. I wanna clean the inside, that fly. <laughs> I wanna clean the inside of the garbage can before I push it all the way in but you'll just cap this off and it doesn't come off I haven't in almost two years this with that natural lip you could put a layer of silicone in there if you wanted to make it extra watertight uh, I've only had just a handful of times of a little bit of water getting in after a lot and a lot and a lot of heavy rain and the nice thing is then you can take this back out 
and be able to get any of the food that was in here that uh, had a little water and moisture in it out of the So there you have it, another DIY chicken auto feeder. This thing holds two 50 pound bags of feed. I usually do about one every, I'd say week and a half to two weeks, uh, but this is super nice with the lid. I do put it on some uh, cement blocks or landscaping blocks to get it up off the ground a little bit, but uh, this is super handy, super hands off. This worked good for almost two years now with our ducks, so I'm glad to I've got a $3 trash can, and then of course the money for the uh, street elbows, but uh, all in all, it's a well worth investment to me. Hope you enjoyed. Any other questions, comments, leave them below. God bless.